you know, when I started wrestling, when I started wrestling, you know, they weren't, you know, doing what's going, you know, the right way for me, you know what I'm saying? You know, when my grandmother passed in and all the other stuff, you know, it was it just got in my head, you know. And I started I I I left, you know, the, the wrestling team. Everybody started calling me a quitter. You know. But I came back next year and I came back stronger. Today you guys Today, I'm going to uh, going to talk about my experience with wrestling and how I had a similar experience with Charles Oliver. I mean, as Charles Oliver. I'm gonna tell you. You know, I, I mean, I don't even know when to start. You ready to fight? You ready? Go ahead. It's done, my hot chair. Rock already. But, uh, yeah, um, what I like to, I like to call this. He tried to take me down, man. You know, I would, I, I like to, you know, call this the Charles Oliveira thing, you know, because when I was, oh, referee stood it up already. Okay. Okay, I, I see, I see how it is. Okay. Rock your ass back. Come here. I see how it is now. So what, I, what was I saying? You know, when I started out wrestling, I started out wrestling, I, I, I didn't give it my own. I didn't give it my own, man. I, and I, and to this day, I still regret it. Even a year later, I still regret it. But, you know, I came back a year later. And I will say, Rock of I will say, EA, Y'all really got to fix that. I'm not going to hold you. Y'all really got to fix that. Y'all really got to fix that. You know, um, you know, I didn't give my all. And then a year later, I came back strong. And I, I didn't quit at all. I kept moving. I, I learned I had to learn, you know, you know, the sport of you know in the sport of, of mixed martial arts. You know, there's no breaks. There's no breaks. No breaks at all. You know, probably in between rounds and stuff like that if you're in boxing. But wrestling is a is a, is a different ball, you know what I'm saying? You gotta be a different dog. You gotta be a different dog. To be a wrestler. And I, 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 that was just something I had to, that was something I had to realize, you know? But, what am I saying here? I guess what I'm trying to say is, if you're actually confident 
or what you want to do, don't, just don't quit, you know what I'm saying? Don't quit, because, you know, you're only proving the people that doubt you, you're, you're proving them right. You ready to fight? Ready? Good. And I'm always that type of person to say, don't worry about what other people got to say about you. But in this case, you're just, you're just feeding them what I want y'all to say. You're just feeding them uh, things to say about you. There. I don't know why. But anyway, um, oh, I I will I will tell you, wrestling is very very exhausting very tiring and you, you don't really know you don't really like believe it until you experience it yourself you know when i saw wrestling i'm like okay piece of cake right nah it's, it's a whole it's a whole nother ball game it's a whole nother ball game whole nother ball game it takes it takes a lot a lot of conditioning a lot of of of, of you know stamina not everybody just can wrestle you know what i'm saying not everybody can it's just one of them This is one of them sports where you just, you just know. This is one of them sports where you just know, like, it, 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 it takes a lot. It takes a lot. So the point of this video, the point of this video, the point of this video, the point of this video is, uh, you know, to compare my experience with wrestling to Charles Oliver's career. You know, Charles Oliver, he, he he went through it himself too, you know. Everybody called him a quitter. Uh, he, he, he's just one of them quitters, you know what I'm saying. But, you know, he turned it around. And now he's one of pretty much almost, almost everybody's favorite lightweight, you know. You ready to fight? Ready. Go. You know, just to bounce back and, and come back, you know what I'm saying? Come back and go harder. You know what I'm saying? That's what I like to call the Charles Other Girl. So. That's what I call it. That's what I call it. Rocking right here. Sir, I don't think you want to do this. I, are you sure you want to do this? Are you sure you want to do this? Don't think you want to do that. I am keep giving you chances after chances. Now 
What was that? It's not. I know. It, I know. Uh, Charles Oliveira got a spinning. He gotta have a spinning. Yeah. What? I'm really not trying to grapple with <laughs> Like I said, I'm not trying to grapple with Islam Mahachi, but I'm not trying to do that. Listen. Sorry, buddy. I will say, I'm actually proud of myself. I'm actually very proud of myself. Knock him out right there, but, you know, I'm actually very proud of myself. Very proud of myself. Yeah, we're gonna do another one. Rafael dos Santos. <laughs> Brazilian versus Brazilian. Let's see who will win. And Rafael, I haven't used Rafael. I haven't, I haven't used Rafael. I believe I have in other UFC games. I, I think, I believe I did. In UFC 2. Right there. I believe I did in UFC 2. I don't know. I'm not really sure. But I know the other games I I know I didn't. So I'm gonna I'm gonna do a rap out there something. Uh showcase. Actually, you know what? We should do We should do a Brazilian, you know, uh, we should do a Brazilian, uh, what's the word I'm thinking of, like a Brazilian series, you know, where I go to every rate class and, and fight with a Brazilian fighter. I ain't even know. Back it on up, son. Back it on up. Back it on up. Back it on up. Move. What you trying to do? That's the Masvida. Hold on, hold on. Chief. Masvida. <laughs> if y'all don't know what I'm talking about, basically, the older Machida's a fighter named the older Machida's that knocked on, I believe, beat her Belfort with this particular kick right here <laughs> and then uh, Jorge Masvidal knocked out Ben Aspen which was actually the fastest knockout in USC history he knocked him out with uh, 
with the um, with the squish. I I did that terrible, but you know. Ready, ready, do it. But I'm gonna I'm gonna do a poll. I'm gonna do a poll on Instagram. See if y'all if y'all interested in that. I do here. He's trying to do it. I elbow you. What the hell? What the hell? Uh uh. What the? Yo. Yo, he yeah. ain't. Y'all gonna stop playing me. Man, for putting me on, bro. <laughs> it's actually, it's actually fun, bro. Like, it's actually fun. Like, doing other people's, you know, knockouts and stuff like that. It's actually fun. All right, uh, we're gonna do another one. We're facing against Armin uh, Sarzuza. So, Saruk, I can't really pronounce his name like that. I'm sorry. I can't. I can't, bro. So, Saruk Young. Saruk Young. If I said that right, I don't know. Bro, what the hell do you think you, who do you think you are? What? 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 Edwards. Leon Edwards. What would do Bronx do? <laughs> nah. Nah. That was a here with it. Back it on up. Back it on up. And it's in this spot of silver. Silver! Makita! I can't even think of any more. Oh my god, bro, you're one of them. Hop off, you're one of them. You're one of them. Get off me. Don't 
Komm, geh, mach's wieder. Mach's wieder. What, what, what? What you trying to do? What you trying to do? What you trying to do? You're right, you do nothing. You do nothing. You do absolutely fucking nothing. I need to stop trying to act like McGregor. Act, like, act, like actually my McGregor uh, impression is actually. It's actually fucking terrible. I need to stop it. Machida! What? Pass his guard, skills me. Hey, scramble, get up! Scramble, scramble, and get up! You do not know. You do not know. You do not know. Every time you hit, you. Transition, how did he deny? Okay. Um Don't just let me pound your face in. trying to do Matita are oh, you getting good with this Mafita side control thank you oh do Ross has I didn't know he had the crystal things. I don't. I could have sworn in UFC in UFC four he didn't have the crystal things. What? Like 
No, you're not getting out of here. I just discovered this, so you're not getting out. Over, rush over, rush over. Yup, he got his back now. Let's go for it. <laughs> You're done. You're done. <laughs> oh my god. Feels good to be do Bronx. Feels good to be new girls. Uh, anyway, that's the uh, uh, that's the video. If y'all enjoyed this video, give this video a like, subscribe, do all the other stuff, and I'll catch you on the next video. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Deans called a stop to this contest. At three minutes, Please. 55 seconds of the third round. Declaring the winner by tap out due to a rear naked choke. Charles the Bronx.